morning, and welcome to another edition of HPTV News. My name is Ariana Barr. And I am Joe Castle. Friday's assembly was so exciting. I can't wait to start reading a whole new ball game for our One in School One book. Let's look back at all the fun we had now. At the assembly, we learned that students and families can purchase a t-shirt, hoodie, or a long sleeve shirt with our Stronger Together logo. That's a very cool shirt. These order forms will go home today. If you are interested in getting one of these shirts, please share the order form with your family and get your money in this week. This is a very special month for some of our students here at High Point. It is called Hispanic Heritage Month. Let's go to Mrs. Carrie Enriquez and some of our Latino students to find out more. Bienvenidos. Welcome to Hispanic Heritage Month. What is Hispanic Heritage Month? Hispanic Heritage Month starts in September, and it's the perfect opportunity to study and celebrate Hispanic cultures from Spain to Mexico to Peru. Hispanic Heritage Month starts September 15th, which is Independence Day in Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua, and continues until October 15th. The month also includes Mexico's Independence Day, starting on September 16th, and Chile's Independence Day, which is September 18th. What does Hispanic mean? Hispanic refers to people who speak Spanish or have ancestry from a Spanish-speaking country. Latino, on the other hand, refers to people who are from Latin American countries. There are 21 Hispanic countries in total. And we refer to our friends from Latin American countries as Latinos or Latinas. In the United States, September 15th through October 15th is Hispanic Heritage Month. It is a time to remember the cultures and contributions of Americans whose ancestors came from Spain, Mexico, the Caribbean, and Central and South America. Did you know there are about 54 million Hispanics and Latinos in the United States? That's a lot of people to celebrate. The idea to do so began as a week-long observance in 1968 under President Lyndon Johnson and was extended to a full month 20 years later in 1988 by President Ronald Reagan. September 15th is special because it is Independence Day for several Latin American countries, including Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua. Mexico celebrates their independence one day later, while Chile and Belize honor theirs on September 18th and September 21st. In the U.S., Hispanic Heritage Month is celebrated with community festivals and educational events. Kids in school learn about famous people of Hispanic heritage, like Ellen Ochoa, the first Hispanic woman to become an astronaut, Nancy Lopez, one of the greatest women golfers to ever play the game, Mexican-American Cesar Chavez, who worked to improve conditions for farm workers, Severo Ochoa, a Spanish-American Nobel Prize winner in medicine, and Ileana Ross Leitinen, the first Hispanic woman and first Cuban-American elected to the U.S. Congress. Hi, I'm here with Natalie. What did you bring with you here today, Natalie? I brought this Mexican doll and um, I got it from Mexico and it like represents my culture and I collect some of these. Hello, I'm here with Arabella. What's your favorite part about, about being Hispanic? The food, because my mom makes the best tacos and empanadas. Hello, today I'm here with Sochi. What did you bring with you today? My Mexican flag. How is the Mexican flag important to you? Because that's where my family came from. Many students at High Point School love soccer, and using the soccer balls at recess is a favorite activity of many. In order for us to continue enjoying the soccer balls outside, we must be following the expectations and using them safely. Remember, competitive games with one team versus another are not allowed at outside at recess. 
This includes soccer games, but also basketball and football games as well. When we play games and scrimmages with the teams we play on the outside of school, there are a lot of adults, like coaches and refs, making sure we are playing fairly and safely. We also wear safety equipment. Out at recess, we do not have professional safety equipment, coaches, or refs. It simply isn't safe for students to be playing full sport games at school. Fortunately, there are a lot of different activities we can do using the soccer balls. Our field reporters have been asking some of our really good soccer players for some activities or drills we can do outside at recess to keep our soccer skills sharp while also staying safe. Let's go see what they found out. Eunice, what is one activity that you can do outside with the soccer ball? One activity is called zombies. For example, when you, you go in a circle and you have to get the ball and try to go through the gates of your partner. Oh, you see now Malik got a point because he went through the gate through Muhammad. So that means they lose and they have to sit out and wait for everyone to lose. Malik, what is one fun soccer involved activity that you could do at recess? Uh, I like to do penalty kicks. Um, we get in a line and we shoot. Um, we shoot uh, into the goal with the goalkeeper. What is one thing? What is another thing that you like to do at recess with another soccer ball? It's pretty much just passing around back and forth, just like that. Mohammed, what is another activity that you like to do at recess? Um, so basically, you just like get a ball and then you're just juggling in the air with it. And you could try to do a contest to see who can get the highest amount of juggles there. Until it drops, then it goes to the next person. So basically, George would go next. It is hard to do, but once you get good at it, it's really fun. Guys, what is the most important thing to, at recess to do? Have fun! Thanks for tuning in. This has been Elliot, Matthew, Ariana, Joe, and Hayden signing off. Have a wonderful day. This newscast brought to you by the High Point Media Team.